13 home runs. Um, you know, would have definitely improved the um, Brewer, uh, excuse me, Indians even more. Uh, you know, but they will have Michael Brantley coming back from the DL shortly. Uh, has missed much of the season. Uh, you know, so that would be a big plus for the Indians. And, you know, now that Luke Croy is still in the Brewers, you wonder if the Mets will make that move to get him. Uh, you know, the Mets have been f uh, floundering as of late. Currently two and a half games behind the Miami Marlins for that second wild card spot. And seven games behind the Washington Nationals for first place in the NL East. Uh, you know, in dire need of hitting. Uh, Travis Darno just has not gotten the back going this year. Uh, you know, we have seen Rene Rivera a lot uh, behind the plate for the Mets, who is definitely a solid defensive catcher, but never has really brought it on the offensive end. Uh, you know, the Mets kind of are in need of a trade. We'll see if they do anything. Uh, you know, of course, they also have the risk of losing Cespedes after a season when he most likely opts out of his contract to once again become a free agent. So, um, you know, we have a little less than 24 hours until the trade deadline ends. I'm sure there will be more moves made. Uh, you know, will there be any major moves that could potentially... Um, you know, change uh, the landscape of the MLB, uh, potentially putting a team in much better position to make a run at the World Series. Only time will tell. Uh, you know, of course, these big trades don't always work out for the team, and a lot of the time it's a rent-a-player, uh, you know, such as the case of David Price with the Blue Jays. Uh, you know, it was awesome for him in the regular season last year. Uh just never pitched good in the playoffs, though, during his career. Struggled again last season and, you know, went to the Red Sox on that huge free agent deal. Um, you know, but we'll, uh, I, I'm not someone who likes to, you know, announce winners and losers of a trade deadline or, you know, free agency until it happens, you know, until, you know, the season's over and we see how these all these guys performed. You know, last season, Two seasons ago, people were crowning the Padres the winners of the offseason, and look what that did for them. Absolutely nothing. We're well below 500. So I'm going to take a short commercial break here, and then once I get back, we will get into another top 10 list. Intrepid traveler Paul London. Good journey, y'all. When you're ready to whip your rock out, do it with Coach Kev at Damage 365 Radio. Esposito's Pizza and Pasta. Check us out on one of our fine locations, 930 Route 34 in Matawan, New Jersey, or 233 East Main Street in Manasquan, New Jersey. From pizza and salads to pasta and buffalo wings, we have something to suit every member of your family. Whether you're seeking to take out, delivery, or just want to dine in, let us do the dishes. We would be more than happy to take care of your next meal. Our courteous and friendly restaurant staff is here to meet and exceed all your expectations. We promise an enjoyable experience each and every time we serve you. Try our award-winning Sesame Seed Crust Pizza, the recent winner of first place in the Las Vegas Pizza Open in the Artisans Division. Visit us online at SesameSeedPizza.com for store hours, menus, and phone numbers, or just stop by one of our two great locations. You'll be glad you did. Esposito's Pizza and Pasta, so close to eating at Mom's, but without all the yelling.
listening to Damage 365 Radio, and this is ECW Original, the Angry Amish Warrior Roadkill. Another top 10 list um, today. This list, uh, you know, regarding so many good star players retiring in 2016. So many, uh, you know, I did a top 10 list of them. Uh, you know, there's guys I didn't include, such as wide receiver Greg Jennings, offensive lineman Logan Mankins. Uh, cornerback Charles Tillman, just to name a few, uh, you know, guys who had strong NFL careers, uh, but have since announced their retirement, so, you know, this list was very hard to create, especially to put these guys in order, especially once you get to the top of the list, I mean, probably the first, the top five guys are, you know, all-time greats, basically, uh, you know, so how the heck do you rank them one to five? Um, but, you know, all these guys were absolutely great players in, um, you know, their respective sports. And I didn't even include, uh, you know, for the sake of this list, I did not include Big Poppy, David Ortiz. Uh, you know, even though he has announced that he will retire after the season, his uh, athletic career is not over. Uh, you know, baseball season is currently going on. The Red Sox are really in a three-team heat with the Orioles and Blue Jays for that AL East title. Uh, you know, Big Poppy's still doing his thing. Uh, you know, batting well over 300 with a ton of doubles, home runs, and RBIs. Um, you know, so he's not included on the list. And, you know, I'm sure once the year is over, uh, you know, there's other guys who could be on this list, including Ortiz. Uh, you know, there may be other... Um, you know, long-time MLB players who decide to hang it up after the season. Uh, you know, so this list is strictly focusing on NBA, NFL, and NHL players that have announced their retirements this year. So let's get the ball rolling with the list and start at number 10. And number 10 is Brad Richards. Brad Richards played 
15 seasons in the NHL. For his career, he had 298 goals, 634 assists for nearly 1,000 career points, 932 career points. Uh, he won two Stanley Cups, uh, you know, and was uh, over a decade between the two. Um, 2004, he won with the Tampa Bay Lightning, where he was named the Conn Smythe Trophy winner for Stanley Cup MVP. Also won the Lady Bing Trophy that same year. And uh, last year, he won a Stanley Cup with the Blackhawks. Um, you know, so two Stanley Cup championships for Brad Richards in his career. Three times he finished in the top ten in the NHL in points. And five times finished in the top ten in assists. So a long, strong career for Mr. Richards. Enjoy your time away from the game. Number nine, another hockey player. And this is Vincent LeCavalier. Uh He was the first pick by the Tampa Bay Lightning in 1998 played 17 seasons in the NHL and finished with 421 goals 528 assists and 949 points uh, did win a Stanley Cup in his career with the Lightning uh, in 2006 during the 2006 07 season he led the NHL with 52 goals scored uh, won the Clancy Award in 2007 08 uh, made four all-star games in his career twice finished in the top 10 in points and twice finished in the top 10 in goals so a great career 17 seasons over he's number nine on the list number eight in the list, on the list, uh, STAT, stat, standing tall and talented, Amari Stoudemire, NBA, played 14 seasons, finished his career with 15,994 career points, per game averages at 18.9 points, 7.8 rebounds, and 1.2 blocks per game. Uh, was a six-time All-Star, won Rookie of the Year, once was named first-team All-NBA, and four times was named second-time All-NBA. Um, you know, I think a lot of people forget how good Amari Stoudemire was. Uh, you know, myself being a Knicks fan, other Knicks fans. Um, you know, we may tend to remember his time with the Knicks. Uh, you know, it started off so well. Um set the all-time record uh all-time team record for most consecutive games with at least 30 points um you know but then became injury ravaged um you know didn't quite ever mesh fully with Carmelo Anthony once he came to the Knicks um you know and then spent his last couple years with Dallas and Miami uh you know not really producing but, you know, his time with the Suns, I mean, they're one of the most exciting teams in NBA history. Uh, you know, him, Nash, Sean Marion, Raja Bell, Joe Johnson, Leandro Barbosa, Boris Diaw, uh, you know, the list goes on and on. You know, unfortunately, that Suns team never made the NBA Finals. But, you know, Mario Stoudemire actually stepped up his game in the playoffs. You look at his career playoff numbers, and you can see they're even better than what he did in the regular season. And, you know, during the regular season, he was far from a slouch. Seven times averaging at least 20 points per game. Um, you know, unfortunately, the end of his career, uh, you know, was so ravaged with injuries. Uh, you know, was looking in line to be a potential basketball Hall of Famer. Now, <laughs> kind of a close call. Um, you know, his... His prime years are definitely Hall of Fame worthy, but other than that, you know, just missed too many games due to injuries, and, you know, it's going to be tough for him to get in, but, you know, that does not mean he did not have a spectacular NBA career, and after 14 seasons, it is over. Number seven on the list, Beast Mode. Marshawn Lynch retiring at the age of 30. Uh... Played nine seasons in the NFL. Uh, the running back finished with a career 9,100 
12 rushing yards, 74 rushing touchdowns, and 9 receiving touchdowns. Six of his nine seasons, he went over 1,000 yards rushing, 